In today's video, I want to share with you the best way that you could play zone defense and have quite a bit of success here in Madden 23. What's good, YouTube? My name is Cody. Just wanted to let you know that if you want to take your Madden game to the next level, make sure that you're a Patreon member. It's only $10 to become a Patreon member, get you access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. Guarantee that it will help you become a better Madden player. So if you're not signed up for that yet, you could sign up by clicking the link down in the description below. So I wanted to talk today specifically on the subject of how do you play uh, really good zone coverage, okay? And this is for really a lot of the popular metas that you're seeing online, but you can honestly across, you can apply this to any offense that you're defending. And so it's really a principle of playing really good um, zone coverage, okay? So I wanted to talk about that a little bit with you guys today. And uh, we're going to start out in bunch, and then we'll kind of work through some of the other formations. Now, if you want this entire dollar defensive ebook, everything is detailed in the Patreon. Again, that's the best way to take your game to the next level overnight. The link's in the description below. But real quick, we're going to run with our auto alignment, and we're going to set that to base. And then we're going to come down here to our zone coverage. I like to put this on match. We're gonna put our curl flats on five and we're gonna put our flats on either 25 or 30. I like 25 unless they're throwing over that 25 consistently and then I'll put that on 30 yards. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to dollar and your base play is gonna be DB, DB fire two. Now real quick, some audibles you might wanna have. I recommend having, having access to cover four having access to uh, cover three cloud show two. This is one of my personal favorite covered shells in the game. And then I also recommend having access to cover six show four. Okay, so these are my favorite audibles at a dollar and we're gonna be in DB fire two for the majority of the scheme here. Okay, so once we're on the field, a couple things. Um, first and foremost, if you simply press your coverage it's going to put everybody at the line of scrimmage. Now, there's a, there's pros and cons to this. The pro is the blitz is going to come in fast, okay? Um, and if you walk these safeties down, this is also kind of a really good strategy. The con of this is if, let's say I try to throw a corner route to the, the right side of the field, okay? If, this, if I pick up this blitz, this cloud flat, even though it's zone dropped, is not going to get deep enough to defend this corner out. As you can see right there, he just doesn't get deep enough, especially uh, to the wide side of the field, okay? But there are some things that we can do coverage-wise to, 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 to do a little bit better of a job at defending this. One of the things that we can do is utilize the grid system that Madden is based off. So to do this, what I like to do is you can utilize Cover 3 Cloud to easily do this. Just audible to Cover 3 Cloud, and you're going to press. What you want is you want the cloud flat to be on the short side of the field. And then you want the outside third, um, like this guy in the third, you want him to be on the wide side of the field. If you just do that one thing, it will make your defense so much better because what you'll see is now this, this, um, this corner route is going to get guarded by this outside third defender over there on the left side. The other thing that's gonna happen with this is let's say that I flip this play and we run the exact same setup, but now we're gonna be on the short side and I audible to cover three cloud and I you know, just walk these safeties down just like this and I'm using here. Now again, we'll get to blitzing in, in a minute, but I just wanna go over the coverage aspect first. So what you're gonna see here, everything's exactly the same. Now we have that baseline press cloud that doesn't back up very far, but look at this, see how it backs up and it actually gets there specifically on the short side of the field. It has to be on the short side. So here's the rule of thumb. You want to play your outside corners in cloud flats when you are on the short side of the field. You want to play your outside corners in uh, outside thirds or outside quarters even whenever you are on the wide side of the field. So if we take that principle and we now apply that to DB fire two, what we're gonna be able to do here is we're gonna be able to press and we have that cloud on the short side or that soft squat. It's, a, it's the same whenever their zone dropped. 
Then we have the outside third. So we're gonna outside third that right side corner. We're gonna middle third the right side safety. And then we're gonna hard flat this um, this linebacker in the middle of the field. And you can still walk these guys down. Now what I know is I've gotta lurk this flat a little bit, but because this guy on the left side is gonna back up really slowly, he will still be able to rally down and make a tackle even on a flat route. So really what I am in this defense is kind of a mid-read defender um, over the middle of the field, okay? So now, same, everything's the same, all these same scenarios, but I want you to watch how this is gonna play, um, this, this route combination in particularly. What you'll notice is your blitz is gonna come in fast, which is the part of the dollar defense that is so good. But the other thing that you're gonna notice is because of the coverage shell that we worked with here, now my flat is gonna be taken away by that hard flat. This streak's gonna get taken away by the middle third defender. And so they can really only throw this. And when they go to throw this, guess what? Not only are they getting sacked by now, but he's running right into coverage over here. Now come back over here real quick and I want you to watch how slowly this guy backs off. He's gonna back up really slowly. So about right here would be where you would wanna throw like a flat route. He's still gonna be able to come up and rally to the ball and I'll show you that real quick. So let's say for example, that you set up that exact coverage shell that I just showed you. This is called a roll coverage shell where we're rolling the safeties uh, to one side of the field. I like to typically roll to the short side. They run a concept like this. They throw this flat route. See how he's able to rally up, and now it's a five-yard gain. It's just a five-yard gain. Now, the other thing that's really important with this is understanding how this principle works to the short side of the field. So a lot of because a lot of people like to throw corner routes to the short side of the field. So we're on the short side of the field here, and now what we're going to do is we're going to create that same adjustment sequence. Now here it's a little different and we're gonna to have to use a third uh, or an additional player in coverage with Bunch specifically. It's a little bit of a different beast, um, but because it's a three by one formation, but in, in general, it would look something like this and we're just gonna send four. And then on that right side, he can be in a hard flat or a vertical hook, that's up to you. Okay, so now they're gonna be able to block your pressure but I want you to watch this corner route on the right, how this is gonna play out. You'll see here, that corner route, that time got over the cloud flat. Now, if you're ever running into issues where that, for whatever reason, that, that short side corner is getting over the top, all you have to do to stop that is just back off the short side corner. Now, what they're gonna do is they're gonna try to throw flats over there. So what you need to do in response is utilize either a zero yard curl flat from this guy or man up whoever you think is gonna be on the flat route. Those are two easy ways to counter that. And then now we're back in this basic coverage here. Another cool way to defend bunch would be something like this. Um, you know, but you could easily also go with this and you basically play it like this. And now you'll see because we have this guy backed off on uh, on that side, you'll notice that this cloud, he should play this every time, able to take away the corner route. So the general principle that I would say as far as how do you play better zone defense in Madden, two big keys, walk your safeties down in the box, okay? And then roll your coverage over the top of the short side of the field based off of hash marks. So outside third, the wide side corner, middle third, the wide side safety, leave that short side safety in either a deep half or a deep third. And then you can either back this guy off or you can leave him where he is. And then you wanna utilize either a send four, which is like this, or if you wanna send five, then you just need to be aware that your responsibility is to the right flat. And so if they send him to the flat, you're gonna go guard him. Now your pressure's screaming in and nothing's really open as a result. That's the best way to play zone defense in Madden. If you wanna learn more about this defense in particular, join the Patreon. That's where you get access to all of our eBooks and updates that will take your Madden game to the next level. You can sign up by clicking the link down in the description below.